hi today we are going to learn about neomorphic calculator so here I'm creating an empty project with the name modern calculator and I'll keep the rest of the thing as it is and uh, let's move on further here I'm creating an uh, first we'll be learning today about the uh, UI design so here we go we'll I'll just brief about how the layout would look like so uh, let's just dive in here I'm creating a vertical uh, linear layout which is vertical aligned and here we'll have a display screen which is a neomorphic card view within the card view we'll have multiple horizontally horizontal linear layouts which also contains button which are neomorphic buttons again so basically we'll have rows into columns that is four rows as well as five columns with neomorphic uh, buttons as well as neomorphic card view and the display screen would contain uh, displaying of the digits which are pressed on the number pad as well as the result so here I'm going to change the constraint layout to linear layout and let me just run and check how it looks on the emulator I think it's good so let's move ahead and this is the github link which you'll find in the description box below I'll just copy the dependencies which is required and I'll just place it within my project within the gradle I'll just have to paste it over here and I require uh, the implementation I'll have to implement the dependency of the neomorphic card view I'll just paste it over here it requires the latest version that is 3.0 okay I'll just write it over here and then I'll just synchronize the project so let's move further so this is the XML file we will be working on here I'm going to make the orientation as vertical so as you can see in this uh, github link uh, they have provided an example of how the project works so I'll just uh, brief about how it works in the XML file here I'll create a neomorphic button okay maybe a neomorphic card view first so the neomorphic card view I'll just make the width as match parent and the height would be 250 d uh, dp you can already see um, the card view is displayed on the right side of the screen with the sha uh, with the default shadow here I'll keep the margin as 15 uh, maybe I'll add a shadow, darker shadow that is black as well as the light shadow would be white color so you can make out some light shadow would be white and they also provide three basic uh, functionalities or uh, shape types that is basin, flat as well as pressed so these are the three basic uh, types which uh, the card view has so the first one would be flat or maybe we will add basin so I'll just uh, run and show how it would look so I'll just add basin and run the project so this is how it looks the next would be pressed okay flat and we'll just run the project okay it good, looks good but uh, you cannot make out the background as well as foreground shadow so I'll just change it to purple and see how it looks so it's the dark the bottom right corner is the darker version of the sh purple and the top left is the lighter version of the purple okay it looks beautiful and let's move ahead here I'm adding text view so that you um, as you know the card view uh, you can place anything within the card view so here I'm adding a text view and I'll just place it the center I'll just pr place it at the center of the card view so the neomorphic uh, card view is similar to that of your uh, Android card views but um, it contains shadows so here we go the you can also change the width as well as height and play with it I'll just uh, add another uh, button for it I'll just show an example of a button neomorphic button I'll just hard code the value to 75 dp and I'll just try to m place it at the center so you can make out how it looks so here we go 
and layer gravity to the center I'll just copy these values and I'll just paste it over here so you can see clearly how it looks so I'll rerun this app so this is how it looks but you cannot click it so I'll just copy this style which they have provided in the example I'll just paste it here and rerun but again you cannot click there is no effect when you click so I'll just make clickable true clickable true in turn requires uh, focusable true so I'll just add focusable true and rerun the app okay that looks great when you press the button as well as the card view so you can add this effect in your project so let's uh, quickly clean up the project and move ahead of how we'll have to uh, you know arrange the pro arrange our app so in the colors we uh, I'll be making it an orange theme so here here you can find it in the description below I'll just provide all the colors which are required for the project the orange is lighter and darker version of the orange as well as red and a creamish color of white so I'll just um, remove purple and say orange 7 that is lighter version of uh, orange 7 would go to the bottom right corner and the light is white color the bu but you cannot make out the shadow uh, the white shadow since the background is white as well so I'll just change it to white new it's a creamish color so you can easily differentiate now here um, I'll change the shape type to basin so it's a display screen so you don't require you don't need it to be in, um, flat I just need it to be basin so it looks like a container so the height would be 0 dp and I'll ha add a weight layout weight to it so what layout weight is because why I'm using layout weight is because uh, uh, it is flexible in all screen types so here uh, I'll add a linear layout below it and it would uh, be match parent and the weight would be 0 0.7 so let's move on to the card view again here the margin is 15 dp I don't think it is required maybe I'll just remove it so th yeah it looks good so as I mentioned earlier the linear layout uh, is requires weights so that it dynamically is adjustable in on-screen resolutions so I'll add, just add margin of 10 dp around the layout so we'll move on to the card view in card view what we'll do is um, we need two, uh, two containers so first one is uh, we'll add a linear layout to hold everything all our text views so I'm adding a relative layout is because uh, you can constrain it however you want to the top of the screen or bottom of the screen align it below and above so here we go text view is match parent height would be wrap content the margin is 10 dp the gravity is end so I'll just add text as 0 text size would be 38 dp and text color is orange the so text color I'll keep it as a darker orange and the hint would be the lighter version of the orange so here we go and here I'm adding granularity uh, to this uh, text view it's because I wanted to resize it you know auto fit it to the uh, height of height and width of the screen so as and when the user types it uh, becomes smaller so here uniform it uniformly resize as per the user enters the numbers you'll make out when we run the app so here I'll just copy and paste it since we require another uh, in uh, text view but this the top part would be the display and the bottom would be the result so display is when the user adds the values from the number pad and result would be the output of the calculations which we perform and here the I'll just place it uh, align bottom I'll just remove the auto resize we do not require auto resize and text size would be 34 and uh, I'll just align it to the bottom parent bottom and I want the digit to be at the center so I'll just add gravity uh, to be center vertical 
Uh, okay, the gravity is already here at the end and we'll have center vertical to this uh, gravity. So it's center vertical now. Okay, I think it's perfect. Um, let's check out this text view above. Uh, okay, there's a gap between the top and the bottom so I'll just uh, add above result layout would be above result I think it go looks good but there's a gap at the top so I'll just add align parent top true let's move to the bottom part which is the number pad uh, the number pad would uh, have vert is vertical now so I'll have an horizontal since I need columns so this is the first row as well as the first column so this is the first column now here it's horizontal. I'll I've made it uh, made the orientation as or uh, orientation horizontal. So here it's a neomorphic card view. I'll just copy paste it. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, redo it again so you can learn about it. So it's a neomorphic button. Uh, the thing is, the, uh, neomorphic uh, buttons. We'll I'll just uh, maybe ha uh, I'll not hard code the value since as you already done b earlier. As we already did earlier, uh, it was 75 dp. The neomorphic buttons here it would be zero dp. I want it. I want the weights uh, to be dynamic. You know, I want the buttons to be dynamic. So here I'm adding weights. So the layout weight is one. So it's clickable, true, and focusable is true. So I will add. Uh, shadows to it similar to that of uh, display screen I'll add orange as well as white here shadow lighter color of the shadow shadow light would be white so I think that is it I'll just copy paste it four times, maybe thrice. Okay, it's three times, uh, and uh, here I'll just minimize this so you can see. I'll copy and paste this horizontal view another five, uh, four times. We already wa have one, so it will be four times. Two. Three and four. So here we go. Now it's dynamically aligned one below the other. You can see it's four rows and five columns. So all of these are buttons, neomorphic buttons. So we'll have to basically add uh, images to this. So I'll just go into the drawable and I import some. SVG files which I've already added so you can find this in the description box below you can I'll just locate it where it where the folder is there and I'll just uh, open the folder so where is it okay the modern calculator contents so within this I'll select a digit maybe I'll just select digit 1 its uh, size is 32 32 and I'll press next and press finish so you can see at the top uh, I'll just uh, just import all the other digits so here I've uh, selected 0 so we imported 0 as well so here we go it's 32 32 you can change the size whenever you want so it's 32 here uh, as you can see it's a little outside of the button so it's out of the button so I'll just start scale type to uh, center inside okay it looks good and I'll just impo uh, I'll just do the same thing to all the other buttons just uh, add uh, source to be I'll add the source of the file and the sca scale type to be center inside I'll just do it to the rest of the buttons so uh, do import all the drawables and make it s make the scale type to be center inside 
so since uh, if you have added please check out if you have added neomorphic buttons change it to neomorphic image buttons so uh, maybe if you cannot add src or that this is the source if you cannot uh, add that uh, android source then you'll have to change from neomorphic button to neomorphic image button so just uh, import some more uh, I'll just add a delete over here I'll just add is equal to addition subtraction a minus sign okay I think it's minus multiplication division and divide okay and a percentage uh, I think it's per yeah percentage and I'll make this one as invisible uh, because I do not have any other functionalities in the application but you can add whatever you want in that uh, button so that is it I've added all the required uh, image sources so image I'll just add IDs now so uh, the ID would be button 0 I'll just say btn0 and I'll just copy and paste it to the rest of it like for this one I'll make it button 1 and do the same to the rest of the uh, rest of the uh, um, buttons neomorphic buttons and just run the app so this is how it looks uh, so you, it's clickable and focusable so it looks great so you can click on them oh the card view is also clickable so let's just, just change this let's just change this part I'll just remove the clickable and focusable over here and maybe focusable in touch mode and I'll just rerun all over again so now if I click okay it's not clickable I think that is it this is how it looks the next time we'll just hide all the status bar change the color of uh, color of the tool i mean i'll remove the toolbar change the color of the status bar and that's it thank you